political activity. However, the concern which I have is that the how can you monitor the specificity of the organ or the specificity of the cell where these nanoparticles can go and effectively can be used as a therapeutic agents. Yeah, this is a very good question. And to answer this, what people are doing, they are functionalized different type of nanoparticles or nano delivery tool with different receptor antibodies and they are injected and then they try to find to which lig ligand they are binding. These are the techniques but we are not using at the moment. We are only using um, electron microscopy and targeting this. But targeting a particular specific cell is possible. Uh, we have some work in uh, University of California, Los Angeles. Uh, in ophthalmology. They are using these nanoparticles with a specific uh, antibodies functionalization and they can see that they are going to the retina and binding to particular points. So this is possible, but we are not doing this in our lab at the moment. Uh, that is what I was going to say. I have a suggestion uh, that uh, comes to all area of research too. That uh, perhaps the uh, you could really revolutionize and enhance it uh, by genetically engineering uh, the uh, stem cells, yeah. because stem cells uh, have uh, uh, different type of stem cells uh, have a targeted oriented yes. uh, function. So if you can uh, put, for example, one of these uh, nanoparticles yeah. and uh, then uh, tag it with those, then you have an effective therapy where it can be targeted. It's, it's million dollar questions. We need one extra fund to do this. Well, I hope you'll give us confidence. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Uh, uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting talk. I wanted to ask you, what is the specialty of using these nanowires specifically to treat this uh, you know, disease? Uh, can you repeat the question, please? Nanowires. Yes. What is the specialty of selecting nanowires instead of other form of nanoparticles? There are different kinds of nanowires available, uh, also metal nanowires like copper, uh, silver, you know, aluminium and also titanium. Why we are using titanium uh, dioxide nanowires? Because uh, in University of Arkansas, uh, they are using first time in knee replacement. They have used this titanium nanowire level drugs and deposited after knee operation and they found that this uh, reparation uh, is much faster. So that's just one of the things. And the second point is that this titanium nanowire is very much innocuous so far uh, in our hand and also some clinical literatures because even USMP has the approval of titanium nanowire in, even in dental implants and many other stents so for a long time. Uh, so that is one of the reasons that at the moment we are focused largely on titanium dioxide nanowires. Is that answer your question? Okay. No questions? Yes. So, to ask you, uh, what happens with this, with this nanoparticles after the delivery of the drug? Because uh, they probably accumulate in the tissue. So, what is the effect of, of these nanoparticles on the tissue in the long term? Yeah, this is very relevant questions, and we are all asking about these things. In general, these nanoparticles will stay in the tissue for a longer time and that's why we, we need to have those kinds of nanomaterials or nanowires, they are at least innocuous for a longer time period. In our hand, it's up to six months, producing no visible or uh, damage at the level of electron microscopy even in nanometer scale. But of course, they are there for a longer time. This is true for all nanoparticles. Yes? Is there a solution to that, that uh, perhaps uh, then, uh, some technology can be developed uh, afterwards where uh, you can clip off once it, it has done its effective work therapy, <coughs> then uh, ultimately you can just clip it off and it will just clip it off. In vivo situations at the moment this is uh, quite difficult. Sorry, maybe I, I, I misunderstood. But how do you uh, get that the nanowire 
enter into the brain. Do you understand the question? Yeah, I understand. I, I couldn't understand how to remove that, that's why. That's why I told you that these nanowires can pierce the endothelial cells without damaging them, and they can enter into the brain, and they can lie and release the drugs. So, so, so that is uh, one of the so far mechanisms we have understood and examined and even published a review uh, recently uh, in 2016. On, they yeah. enter by themselves? Yes. Okay. They, this is what? Okay. Is what yeah. They, they enter by themselves into the cell and stay there. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any more questions? Thank you. Thank you, Dr.